Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting day on the farm. Uh, yeah. Well, we're not playing FS19. We are playing FS17. And we're actually playing with, uh... <clears throat> what is going on here? We're playing with the core, uh... Why is this thing doing this? <laughs> A little weird. Uh, we're playing with course play. Why won't you go up there and on the boat now? It's a good question. Drive to waypoint. So you already unloaded. Drive now. See, this is a problem. It won't turn around. Okay, let's uh, try that. <clears throat> Stop driver. So we're trying to work out some of the bugs here. It's like really loud, the machinery. Holy cow, was that loud. Alright, uh... He's moving again. Let's set you to do that. Drive to waypoint. Good girl. Yeah, let's try that. See you see what she does so yeah what I know y'all might have seen the one video of me uh, doing uh, course flight on FS 19 F and I don't know if it's me or if it's the new update or what but it seems like it's broken why are you just driving around her buddy Okay, so you're going to go unload, maybe? All right, cool. Let's see if it actually works. And I used to use course flight in in it in 17 here before, and I really liked it for playing solo. And that's all I really ever did in FS19. Are you going to unload any day now? And you're not unloading. Okay, has reached overload point. Did I screw up on the settings? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I gotta fix this, and we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. So I think I have the problem solved, hopefully. We'll see what it does this time. Obviously, you can see the combine is done with this field. And it's unloading into the auger. Uh, oh, you know what I needed to do? Uh, copy, no. I know there's a button here for it. Let's see if we can find it. Turn on, stop now, yeah. Settings. Let's hope it does its thing. Waiting until waiting position is free. So we still okay. So we want this. Let's turn that on. It still doesn't want to move. I don't know why. Okay, drive now. Go. We'll get this worked out, these bugs. It's been a while since, like I said, since I've used this. So... Figuring some of this stuff out again. And you are a goofy little thing. Stop driver, back up. You 
You did not recognize the building? Or the, yeah, the building sitting there? Wayne Hill field level is reached. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. All right, we're just going to go ahead and... Whoops. I hate when I do that. Let's just go and unload this thing. Yeah, I know, tractor. You're really weak. I know this will work. You just got to figure out how to get it to work again. Maybe we'll have to set up on that side. Empty. Alright. Tractor is really weak. Alright, what we're going to do, let's go ahead and do this, do this. Overloader 1, we're going to cancel that. Do that. Let's go set you up. Well, this field is technically done. Go park this down here. So yeah, we're gonna basically work this farm, and I uh, don't know how many episodes it's gonna be, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Just gonna park you right here for now. See if we can make money and all that kind of good jazz. Uh, drive now. Let's see if this thing will actually go to going empty like it's supposed to. Close that. Oh, the combine's going to be in the way, of course. Everything. All right, so this is where it comes into play on uh, setting up your routes properly so things aren't in the way. Just get the combine out of the way there. to watch him do his thing so I said already obviously I've already set up the, the course to unload and we'll see if it does it because it wasn't a fully loaded trailer so I think that's why it wasn't uh, moving on all right so it untarped that's good and oh well Okay. You're breaking. <laughs> okay, so we got many broken things here. We're gonna have a mess to clean up there. It's so messed up. Some bugs to work out. I think what happened is I set the wrong deal there for uh, unloading. Uh, I set it to unload here. So obviously it unloaded there. Damn. That kind of bites, guys. That's all right. We'll have a give us an excuse to get a front end loader. Let's go park this. Uh, Mean machine. So you might be asking, why am I using this combine? The reason why I kind of use this combine is it is a smaller, oops, smaller combine, and I wanted more chances for the auger wagon to offload it to so make sure everything was working properly, which obviously it isn't, and I'm gonna have to figure out why all that isn't working correctly uh yeah but uh i'm gonna figure all that stuff out and i guess we'll be back see you in a bit hey guys welcome back so i'm gonna have to play with the other settings with the overloading and all that kind of stuff I, i'm gonna work out the bugs and make sure i know what i'm doing with that a little bit more uh uh 
clearly better, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I just basically wanted to finish this video up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you course play as far as field work goes. So we're over here on field 15. Remember, we already harvested this field. And we are going to... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, where are you, button? That's not the one. That's not the one. That's not the one. But we're going to seed this field. Basically what we're going to do. We're already on seeding and fertilizing setting. Uh, let's see. Uh, field edge path. No, we are going to go to field 15. Because we are on field 15. Our work width is 9 meters on this planter. Or cedar, I should say. Uh, current location. We're starting from this, this spot right here. We're not going to do any headlands. And... No, not that. We're going to take a look at it. And this is basically what it's going to do. Down, back, blah, 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 back and forth until the field is all done. So, I click this. Click this button. And then I click the eyeball so I can see it. This is your course generation button, basically. So, it's basically generated the course. And when I click this button, instead of saying record course or course recording or whatever it says... Uh, it now says drive course. So this is all preloaded. Um, you can save it if you wish and name it, you know, field 15, seeding and fertilizing. Uh, I always like to put in there, uh, you know, the width of uh, whatever equipment I'm using. So in case I have multiple pieces of equipment. But we're going to just go ahead and hit start course. And what's nice about course play get rid of this um, you can go right here to the speed settings right and I already boosted this up so if you have a hired worker he's only gonna back up you know three mile an hour or whatever and turn speeds gonna be like six miles per hour or whatever in here you can you can change that so I got the turn speed set at 13 miles an hour so when he turns it's gonna be 13 miles an hour and his reverse speed is gonna be nine miles per hour okay which is very helpful in let's make him do 10 let's see what happens watch your speed because with uh with backing up sometimes they get all kitty wampus uh they can't keep that trailer straight behind it usually does pretty good but it just makes you know makes it so it goes a lot faster in order to get the field done with being able to change those speeds now yeah I'm planting everything basically in wheat it's not essential right now because basically all I'm trying to do is work out all the bugs uh, with horseplay getting familiar with it again trust me I swear to you I've used it in the past and I love it haven't had issues before with it but it's been such a long time, I've totally forgotten basically how to set everything up perfectly the first time. So I'm just working out those bugs. But uh, we got all our fields planted. Um, I also have like super duper, super duper, 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 uh, daytime speed up I mean I could do this like in like 10 seconds have it the next day so getting these fields to grow quickly is pretty simple it's a mod obviously I forget what it's called if you guys are interested in it, I'll look it up and let you know what it is just leave a comment down below but yeah I mean it's just so much faster with course fly here just into setting up on the field, you know, doing the turns and all that with the seeding and the fertilizing. Um, you could do a lot more with course play as well as far as um, picking up like this swath. I do believe you can use it. I know you can use it for that in uh, FS19. Uh, in FS19, you can also use it for bailing. Um, 
but you were never been able to use it in 17 for that as far as I re remember unless they've changed it do some updates maybe I don't know um, and the reason why I'm not playing FS19 don't know if I explained this before with the course play uh, course play is still kind of broken I mean it's there it works you can do all this seeding and that kind of stuff uh, what I like to use it for is uh, overloading and that kind of stuff field work and it's not functional and right now when I tried to play it the other day uh, the game kept locking up on me I don't know if it's an update that they did to it or what but just all of a sudden everything would just stop working and I couldn't exit vehicles and all that kind of stuff and I'd be forced to stop and then of course it wouldn't save and it was just frustrating the hell out of me so here we are on 17 and from what I understand a lot of people are still playing 17 um, and enjoy it so maybe we'll make a few vids of FS 17 So yeah, basically we're just going to uh, finish up this field, get it all done. This video is probably a little longer than I wanted it to be, but that's alright. It's got two more swipes here to do. And just look how much faster that is compared to a hired worker. Also, you could set it so uh, when you first get into the game it asks you, do you want the, to automatically scan fields? I always select yes. It also will ask you, do you want to pay the hired workers? I select no most of the time for it. You can, for realism, you can select yes. That way your money's going down, you know, realistically. And to be honest, I might switch maps too, by the way, uh, just because looking at this map, there's the fields are really small, you know, and with course play, what's really nice about with course play is when you got really big fields, you know, so I'm going to be actually on the hunt here <clears throat> before the next video, and I'm going to find a nice map with some nice big fields on it that we can get some good gameplay out of, and then, uh, yeah, so... Next video might be a different map. I hate switching maps like that on you guys, but I want to find something that's going to play nice. I know there's a, I got the Lone Oak map. Um, I wasn't a real big fan of it. If I remember right, if that's the one I'm thinking of. I'll take another look at it and see what the fields look like. I just want those big fields, you know. All right, so that's that. So it's going to fold up the cedar for you, which is really nice. Go back into here. I'm going to hit stop driver. Now, you could save this course if you really wanted to, like I said before. But it's so easy to set these courses up with the seeding and fertilizing on each, on each field that it literally just takes, you know, 30 seconds, boom, boom, couple clicks, done, and off you go. So I'm not even going to save it. It keeps down the amount of files that you have in here. So we're just going to go ahead and delete the, the course there. Not necessarily delete it, but shut it off. But that's that, guys. Uh, sorry for the longer, a little longer than normal on the videos. Uh, but if you like the video, please smash that like button. And if you're interested, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, later.